ladies and gentlemen, back at Triumph from Marcus Jaw, 2016 Yamaha FZ07, claiming 75 brake horsepower and 50 foot pounds of torque. And yeah, I'll be honest, like a naked bike king here for the middleweight category. Akropovich exhaust there. I don't know if that's stock or slip on this. is obviously a used bike. 11,000 miles on this thing. But I don't think that's going to hinder its performance. As I said, I mean, claiming 75 and 50 foot pounds of torque, weighing in it, I believe, 397 pounds. I mean, when this was new, I think this was like seven grand. I mean, this was obviously now been replaced by the MT-07. But I don't think a lot has changed. I mean, this still has, I believe this still has a cross-plane crank. This is. This is the CP2. The difference is obviously cross-plane crank, parallel twin versus the cross-plane version. Uh, regular parallel twins, 180 degree firing order. This is 270. So, so like, I am 5'9", weigh 220 pounds. This has aftermarket levers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fuel gauge, tachometer on the bottom, this is an LCD, ah, oof, kicked it in the gear there, wow, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see why people call this a torque monster, but, let's get on the road, for my first ride on the FZ07. This does not have a quick shifter. This is not going to stop here. Holy Christ. I mean, this is not insanely powerful, but it doesn't need to be. It weighs less than five or less than 400 pounds. I mean, good Lord. You're in very, it's a very commanding position. I mean, I'm perfectly upright right now. I mean, this doesn't have a cruise. I kind of wish it had cruise, to be honest. I'm not sure if the new version has cruise or not. I don't think it does. <laughs> no reason to, no reason to fight traffic. We're all trying to get to where we need to go. I'm going to regret that here in a minute when I can't really get on it. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, now he changed his mind. Well, you know what, the funny, I mean, this thing is such an upright, commanding position. I mean, I am in this is way, way different than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, th I'm there is, I'm five foot nine, two hundred twenty pounds. I am completely upright on this bike. Absolutely, completely upright. Which means I'm taking all the wind, you know. Because this little fly screen here ain't doing shit. <laughs> ain't doing a damn thing. Yeah, that's the one issue I would have with a naked bike. Is this is not this is not good for the interstate. I mean, at least with a sport bike, I can kind of tuck in underneath all this wind. I mean, I'm doing 73 miles an hour, and I am getting hit by the wind the whole time. And I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. Oh, freaking monstrous torque though. Oh god. He 
yeah. No, if I'm gonna do uh, interstate riding, I'll take something else. That being said, I'm in fourth gear. Jesus. Okay, yeah, no, I don't like the interstate on this bike. Because there is no wind protection. It's just hitting the shit out of me, and I don't like that. You know, this is not a bike I would want to take on the interstate. Plain and simple. Mike has a nice soundtrack, and that's that 270 degree cross plane. It gives it, it gives it the sound more like a V than a parallel. It's a good bike for a perp. I would not want to ride this on the interstate ever again. <laughs> it's just there's so much wind, so so you know it's just. It's just completely uncomfortable. <sighs> you know, riding around on this bike, you know, as a day, as a daily rider, No, this this is great. I mean, as long as I don't have to go on the interstate, this is a phenomenal bike. I love this thing. If I have to go on the interstate, no, I'm done. I don't want to deal with it. But for non-interstate riding, man, this is fantastic. I mean, just around town, the manners of this bike, the lightweight, super easy to ride. Yeah, it's torquey. I mean, you you twist the throttle, it'll uh, yeah, it'll it'll do whatever. Uh, I mean, it's torquey as shit. <laughs> no lie, it is very torquey. You twist this throttle, it will pop the front wheel up with no complaints at all. Mirrors aren't that great. I gotta lift my arms up. So I'm not a fan of that. Plenty of passing power. thing about this bike it, it is very it's it's it can be very tame as long as you ride it tame <laughs> but it can also be insanely aggressive choose this bike if I had to choose between this bike and for example Kawasaki's you know Z650 this bike all day all day I mean the Z650 is a fine bike but it doesn't hold a candle to this not even close I like this bike I like this bike so much I haven't had a lot to say <laughs> it's just that good it's it's torquey it's fun it's 
easy to ride. It, it, it checks all the boxes in a middleweight bike. On top of that, it's probably the, one of the lightest middleweight bikes I've ever ridden. Just turns over. Jesus. Start right here. Just. Oh, it's effortless. Literally, this bike is effortless. You want to spin a circle? Easy. No problem. No problem at all. Alright, I'm gonna grab about that. Kickstand's way back there. <laughs> oh. There you are. 2016 Yamaha FZ07. Whew. Whew. Uh oh. This bike is really good. <laughs> really good sound to it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there you are. If you're interested in this bike, you can find the link in the description for Triumph and Walker Show. They have this, they have a lot of other bikes, a lot of other bikes, as you can see. Best dealership in the world. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, everybody, if you like this video, if you like any of the other stuff, Please subscribe, make a comment, let us know. Love y'all. Be safe and enjoy the ride.